Yo guys and welcome back to the second episode. Like I did say, I'm going to try and get another episode up and I am. I'm going to show Burnley and the first leg of round of 16 in the Champions Cup against Zenit. So hopefully you enjoy these double upload. And well, let's get into this video. And if you remember, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. So let's get into this video. We are at home to Burnley in the round of 16 of the FA Cup. So hopefully, obviously Burnley fight and relegation in the league, but cups are completely different when it comes to teams. Sometimes you see, look at Everton a few seasons ago, they won the FA Cup and then got relegated. Not not Everton, sorry, Wigan. They won the FA Cup and then they got relegated. So cups are just completely different to league form, shall I say. Not league games, league form. Completely different. So hopefully they show up with their league form, <laughs> not their cup form. Because it's the round of 16. It's a pretty decent round to get to for a club like Burnley. And here we go with the corner. And Mbolo somehow keeps that in. And he gets it to Schurler. Slide tackle there from Boyd. Decent tackle. But it comes to Iorfa. And Loftus-Cheek with a great turn on his right foot. And Heaton makes a very, very decent save there in the 15th minute of the game. And we get another corner here. And goes through everybody. And comes to Rodriguez. And he's going to try and get it on his left foot, of course. And he does. And... Heaton with a comfortable save there. Nothing too troubling him there. That, in my opinion, should be England number one. But folks, is through. Look at this. He's through. But what is that touch? Wow, what a bad touch from Vokes that was. He could have had a shot of goal. But they do get a cross in there from Boyd, I think that was. And Butland has to punch that right up into the air. And here we go. Burnley on the attack. They've got Vokes, but holding. He ain't going to get past holding. And Verratti. Loftus-Cheek. And Loftus-Cheek with a great pass out to Campbell. Puts in a cross. And Mbolo is there with a brilliant header. Oh my god. What a header that was. From Mbolo. Wow. You'll see the replay just in a second. But what a header it was. It was like a Ronaldo type header. The leap. The power. He's just body position in that header. Look at this. Bang. What a header that was. Unbelievable. Look at that. Right into that top corner. Heaton could do absolutely nothing. And we go 1-0 up in the round of 16 of the FA Cup against Burnley. So here we go. We've got Schurler trying to do a bit of skill there. Not, not succeeding. But he's still going on the ball. Not being tackled whatsoever. He puts it to Verratti and Mbolo. Is he going to have a shot at goal? He is across the keeper. And Heaton makes a decent save. Makes a very decent save, to be honest. That is a good good save from the man in goal for Burnley. And he comes out and punches that corner. A very good punch. And Gray can't get enough on it. But Gray there just gives a little nudge to Rodriguez. And gives away a free kick in a very dangerous position just before half-time. And Andre Schurler is standing over it. He puts it over the wall and he hits the post. And I don't know what the hell happened there with the, <laughs> the defender there. But Heaton comes out and just gathers that and that is the end of the first half just a couple of minutes before half time we could have put ourselves 2-0 up and in total control but we hit the post with an Andre Schurler free kick but that man right there and Bolo putting us 1-0 up with a brilliant header and we go into the second half we've got Verratti giving it away there but folks is on the ball Badoya and he has a shot and it just goes past Butland's left hand post there the man they signed He's an American. I don't know where they signed him from. Maybe they did sign him from the MLS. But Kiteley there. Nicking the ball away. I'm not sure who he nicks it away from there. But I think it might have been Iorfa. And they go on the break. And Andy, and Andy Gray. <laughs> and <laughs> Andre Gray. And Butland makes a very, very important interception from that cross. And we go on the attack from that parry from Jack Butland. And... Mbolo loses it there, but he's got it back. And he gives it in to Rodrigo... No, Loftus-Cheek, sorry. He gives it through to Andre Schurler. Great bit of skill. Puts it in to Loftus-Cheek. To Verratti. And he has a shot and he hits the post. And Kiteley is there to boot it away. Got a half hour left to play and we hit the post. We've hit the post twice. I mean, how unlucky can you get? We're going to bring on Mares. And we did bring on Rene Adelaide and Gnabry, I think, also. Just before, though, that sub I just made now with Mares. So we've got Rene Adelaide on the ball and gives it to Mares. Mares has not been on for long. He's got fresh legs and no one is going to catch him. And he's still going. And he puts it in the box to Rene Adelaide. And 15 minutes remaining 
of this FA Cup round of 16 tie and we go 2-0 up with Rene Adelaide scoring scoring I mean he's missed he's missed so many chances when he's played this season but it's a very decent finish look at that a smart finish away from player and goalkeeper into that back of the net and we go 2-0 up and we've got Mbolo and Rene Adelaide is through again and he skips over that tackle and surely it's got to be a goal surely it's got to be a goal no it's not it's not I said surely it's got to be a goal and I was so certain Rene Adelaide was going to finish that off but here we go Verratti on the ball gives it away to me I'm not sure if that's how you actually pronounce it <laughs> but here we go Barnes down the right hand side and we've got Chambers chasing him down but what a cross to the back post and Boyd with a finish that you just you're not just gonna you're not you can't defend those types of play I mean that is just incredible incredible cross to the back post and a finish from George Boyd but that goal doesn't matter and we go through we we advance through the FA Cup and hopefully we get a, a decent draw hopefully we get a lower league team in the next round because we, because we have had quite difficult ties in the FA Cup so far. We've had Tottenham, Chelsea and now Burnley. Which turned out to be a harder game than I thought to be honest. But that man right there getting a very very good goal. And obviously Rene Adelaide coming off, off the bench. And getting a very decent goal. But here we go. We get through the FA Cup round of 16. And we go straight into the round of 16 in the Champions Cup. The first leg away at Zenit. It's not going to be an easy game. We go to Russia. So it's not going to be an easy game to be honest. They have they have a decent team. I'm not obviously no I'm not knowledgeable on teams abroad and stuff like that. But I know a few of their players. I know Vitzel. <laughs> That's about it. No, I know Shatov, Garcia, Garay. That's how you say his name at centre back. But here's our team. We've got Butland, Bellerin, Chambers, Holding, Gibbs, Coquelin, Ramsey, Bellarabi, Iwobi, Mares, and Lags it up top. So hopefully this team can get us a decent result. I would take a 0-0 or even a 1-1 or a draw. Any draw whatsoever. But here we go. We've got Witzel getting a nice ball there through on goal. And he puts he puts it to the to the near post. And do not know why he went to the near post. It was going wide. But Butler makes a decent save of that shot from Witzel. And they get a corner there. And we get it out from Butland throwing it out. And... Bellerin goes round one player and it's a very decent skill there and he's still going he's still going is he going to put in a cross he does a decent cross Lagazette takes a touch and the save from the oh and another save from Awobi oh my god a, a double save there from the from the Zenit goalkeeper and could have been easily 1-1 there I mean 1-0 sorry oh god but here we go we get a throw out from Jack Butlin to Lagazette he's got strength as well look at the strength from Lagazette he's still going He's getting away from this defender. He's going to have a shot on goal. He is. And he hits the post. And it comes to a Wobi. And a Wobi gets taken out there. I'm not so sure if that should have been a penalty. But it's nil-nil. And we hit the post. And I mean, we should be at least. We should have at least one goal. I mean, double save. And then hitting the post. Here we go. Cockerland on the ball. A Wobi. Ramsey. Look at the space for Andre. Oh, Kieran Gibbs, sorry. And he's still got it. He's still going. Nice bit of play here. Look at the skill. He puts in a cross. And Awobi is there. But Garay. Garay. Just headers it out. And we have 10 minutes. And here we go. Maris with the corner. And Chambers. Off the line. How are we not winning? How are we not 1-0 up at least? But Ramsey gets that ball from Witzel. And Chambers. Coquelin. Lagazette. To Awobi. And keeper gathers that. And oh god, Butland kicks it out wide to Bellarabi. And a nice little turn there. Is he, is he going to get past his defender? He is. He's still going. He's still going. He's still going. He's got pace. Is he going to put a cross in? He tries to put a cross in, but the defender comes across and blocks that effort to get it across the box. And we get a corner here just before half time. And. Chambers with the header keeper comes out and completely misses it and it's basically an open goal no man on the line and it could have been 1-0 with Chambers there but we go into the break 0-0 it's not obviously it's not the worst result to go in 0-0 but 
we shouldn't be nil nil. It should be at least one, at least one nil. I'm going to say at least one nil. I'm not saying you should score every chance you have, but it should be. We should have at least one goal out of all those chances we've had. But here we go into the second half. We go. Avoybi puts it over to Morris. Just about gets to him, and he's going to have a shot on his right foot. And Mbolo there with the rebound, but the defender gets it away, and Coquelin wins that header. And Bellarabi, Avoybi. He's still going. He puts a nice ball to Ramsey and he tries to put it through to Mares, but the keeper comes out and gathers that. And here we go. He's going to kick it out. Long ball up. Are we going to win that header? Well, no, we don't. It's come to Shatoff and it comes back to him. And look at this passing. You just cannot get in. And he's going to have a shot of goal. And oh my God. Off the post. Off the post. I mean, look at the passing. It's just something you can't defend against. I mean, it's just impossible to, to defend against that passing. Look at that. He's here with the side of his foot, inside of his foot. And it's curled like he's here with the outside of his foot. What the hell? That is just ridiculous. That is impossible, man. Come on. It's only Shatoff, if that's even how you say his name. But after all that pressure, we've hit the post and... I mean, they go 1-0 up, which I hate. I hate games like this. It's so annoying, so frustrating. But here we go. Mares with a great cross. A Wobi. A Wobi on the 66th minute. Could have made it 1-1 with a volley on his left foot. Look at that. Should have been a goal, man. Should have been a goal. The form he's been in this season with goals as well. And he should have really finished that off. But we're going to bring Scherler up top for the first time in quite a while. And we're going to bring on Loftus Cheek for Awobi and Mares off for Campbell. So hopefully those three subs can make a difference and at least get us a draw here to take back to the Emirates Stadium. But here we go, Bellarabi, pass one, goes through the middle and he's still going. He nearly gets a shot away, but gets cleared away there. And we've got 10 minutes left. We've got Ramsey, Coquelin, Scherler trying to get something done here. Scherler on his left foot and down to the keeper's right makes a comfortable save and we've got a couple minutes left we need a goal we need a goal come on Bellarabi pass it he's giving it to Loftus Cheek on his right foot and another comfortable save there for the keeper and there is the final whistle guys there is the final whistle we lose 1-0 in the first leg which it's not bad it's only 1-0 it's only one goal but we just need to keep a clean sheet at home because if they get an away goal, it's going to make things so, so tricky, especially against a decent team like Zenit. They played very decently. They were they were, they were, were good on the ball, but we should, we should have really won. Even if they did get that goal, we should have won at least 2-1 at least. But anyway, that is going to be the second episode done and dusted for the day. And I hope you enjoyed the double upload. And going to look at our upcoming a bit bummed out by that result to be honest because we should have got something out of it we're going to have West Brom the Capital One Cup final against Man United Aston Villa and Manchester City tomorrow and obviously that's the episode after that is going to kick off with the second leg be sure not to miss that because I'm excited to play that and I hope you enjoyed this episode guys and if you did please give it a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and I hope you have a nice day or a nice night whatever time it is Hope to see you in the next episode, guys. Take care. Peace.